Whew, good morning guys, it's Marco Red Star Loft, as you can see. Friday morning is loft cleaning day. Got these guys sitting in some bleach just to uh, make sure they're nice and clean. A little bit of a mess over here, but figure before I wrap up, I'll show you a few things real quick. The mold seems to be finally, I just gotta, this is the biggest mess here. All these feathers are a pain in the ass, but I'll get this vacuumed after the video. But it looks like the mold has finally come to a close for the most part. They are doing much better. The feather situation is much better than just compared to a, how it was last week. So, yeah, makes cleaning a lot easier. It's less dusty. And yeah, I just scraped out this lot. And as you can see, 32 birds are not in here. 31 birds, actually. That's supposed to be 32, but his molt is going bad. I showed him to you guys before. He's missing half his wings, so I'm not sending him to any flights. But I wanted to show you my last round of uh, young that I got for this year. So that includes these guys, as well as some guys that are still in my breeder side. But these guys are two months max, if that. And then these guys here are about between a month and a month and a half, depending on the birds. So... Yeah, I got some uh, litter down there. This is my wet spot where most of the crap falls because they sit on these perches, so it gets moist. But you can see here these two blackbirds are nest mates, and I'm real happy that they both came out black. I love blackbirds. I think they're absolutely beautiful, so I think these guys are going to... <clears throat> Pardon me. Look great. Got that white one and this grizzle or pied. I don't know what it's called. Those two are nest mates. They're from my red cock white hen. And uh, yeah, the guy back there is the one with the uh, bad molt, so he's staying. And this one here, let me take a look at that band. What color is that band? That's light. That's red. Yep. So he is from my. Uh, Red bar down there in the bottom, red bar and uh, red and white saddle homer, and that's his nest mate. So we've got three sets of nest mates, giving us six plus this guy seven. All the rest of the birds are uh, my dad's taking them to a toss in a different direction, he's taking them south, including another group of uh, seven or eight young birds <coughs> that I haven't fl flown until this week. This week he's been working on integrating the groups together, so he took them all out to 5 miles and they did great. He took them out to 10 miles to 15 miles this week and now he's at 20 miles. So uh, the plan is, yeah, I used to fly him this whole time east to west and now he's flying him south to north. So just kind of a, getting him from, from a different direction plus it's much easier to go time-wise. And uh, what I'm going to do tomorrow is uh, I'm going to do a toss, and I have no idea how far it's going to be. At the very least, it's going to be another 60-mile toss, but I'm just going to get in the car and drive until I get bored. So we'll see how far I make it. I do have to be back home by a certain time, so I'm going to probably leave around 5.30, and we will see how far I get. So, But yeah, that's those guys. They're a little bit older, and these guys are a little bit younger. So it turns out as soon as the molds slow down, pretty much every single one of my uh, hens laid eggs, but I'm going to be throwing all of those out. I'll let them sit on for a little bit, but yeah, I'm going to be throwing all of those out. So let's pick a peek down here. There's my little silver. And there's the little silver right there. And you can see a lot of them, like this one, prime example around their band they just have shit caked on there and that's because they all sit in that one corner over there and within four days they're uh yeah ankle deep in shit basically so i'm gonna have to yeah you can see this guy right here the blue bar in the back i'm gonna have to uh get the scrubbing and get that off because that's just gross but yeah as you can see this round is mostly blue bars two blue bars back there one silver right here, real pretty bird, with little hints of red on the wings. And there's that red one in the back. 
he is from that, uh, you guys remember that little dwarf pigeon that I kept calling him? That's his uh, little one. He's growing slow like his dad. Don't even think I really should have bred him, but yeah, as you can see, this these guys are all, not all, but for the most part, blue bars, and then one silver and one, uh, one red over there. So I do have, it's dark up there, but yeah, I do have two more in the nest. There are two blue bars, but that's it. Yeah, this uh, season has been all over the place. I moved this hen. She's the mom of that. Uh, she's the mom of that red one that was mated to the to the to the dwarf pigeon. But yeah, as soon as these guys are over on the other side, that's it for the year. I'm uh, real happy with the progress. I thought I would lose more birds by this point, but I'm not, and that's fantastic. But I do have more birds than I thought that I was gonna have, and uh, yeah, I know that nobody really breeds this time of year, but. I just kind of let them go at it and uh, yeah they ended up giving me almost a few too many pigeons so I've uh, mo not mostly but about 50% already picked what my pairs are gonna be for next year so uh, yeah we're gonna fly them for as long as we can fly them and uh, when that winter hits I'm just gonna separate all of my hens and all of my cocks probably do hens on this side cocks on the other side because i do think there's quite a bit more hens than cocks but i'm not sure with so, still so many young birds but we do have a uh, last uh, pigeon swap of the year coming up in october in about three weeks or so and i will be getting rid of a few birds just a few few pairs that i've noticed aren't really giving me any proper results when it comes to these tosses at least that the, the young that seem to be slacking and not really doing that good and that's my pair of saddles so that red and white saddle right there and this red and white saddle down here now i know that red and white down there is paired up to this cockbird and i know this cockbird has uh, has raced and flown a lot in its previous loft it was owned by my friend in milwaukee and i know that he's a really good bird but that bird and the, the hen up there, those guys are going to be going. I'm probably going to be getting rid of her as well. And uh, the one in, on the nest pole that looks just like her. So, one, two, three, four, yeah, about five or six birds. I can't think of any other ones. I think my red and white one, he's a beautiful bird. And the white hen too, she's beautiful, but I'm not going to keep him. I'll give him to my dad. He's going to be breeding homers next year. He's selling all of his pigeons that are remaining in October. So, yeah, we're going to kind of divide up a little bit. But, yeah, next year I'm definitely just focusing. Just based on what I've seen in these training tosses, I know that maybe 10 or, 10 or 12, up to 15 birds at the most that I've noted, that I've written down their band numbers, and that I do tend to see come first, you know, go in first, when I let them out, run out first, it's always the same birds, it's the, the consistent birds, so those are the guys. Oh yeah, and I'll be getting rid of the show homer, so that's kind of what's going to be happening early next year, but with the winter coming, I'm trying to make plans of what to do with this. I've considered just framing this out and putting a window here, but I don't want to do that because they're not going to get enough light. It's already, I mean, you guys can't really see. But it's already kind of dark in there. What I think is I'm just what I think I'm gonna do is I am just gonna for the winter time stretch out some thick nylon so they're not getting hit with wind and they're not getting hit with uh, any snow. Just stretch it out across the whole loft and across this door and uh, basically leave you know leave this open around the door for ventilation. They have gaps here. They have gaps up there, so they'll still get their ventilation. From this door to this door around these frames so yeah like i said i think i'm just gonna stretch the stretch nylon over that side and put up that plastic that you can see in my other loft over here <clears throat> put up those plastic sheets on this side as well as on this side i feel like that's my best bet so all right guys yeah like i said tomorrow i'll probably take you along for that toss i don't know how long it's gonna be 
I'm hoping 80 miles, but I don't know if I have it in me or more so if I have the time to do that. Might be another 60 mile. Might just go to a different location. We'll see. I don't know, but something's going to happen, that's for sure. So you guys have a good day, have a good weekend, and uh, I'll probably see you tomorrow.